America, I'm Tom Hand, the creator of Americana Corner, and welcome to Preserving America. Today we are spotlighting one of our Americana Corner grant recipients, the Brandywine Battlefield Park Associates, and joining us is Melody Schwartz, its Education Program Coordinator. Melody, welcome to Americana Corner. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you for having me here today. Great to see you. Uh, tell us about the mission of the Brandywine Battlefield Park Associates. So the mission of Brandywine Battlefield Park Associates is to preserve and interpret the enduring story of the Battle of Brandywine, which was the longest and largest single day battle of the American Revolution. So we do this through education programs, special family events, and we participate in reenactments in the area as well. Yeah, I was looking at your website. It looks like you have a fairly robust uh, school visitation program. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, very happy to. So our Colonial Day programs is for primarily large public school groups and introduces the history of the American Revolution and the Battle of Brandywine while also incorporating STEM and the arts and very hands-on activities for the kids. We also have our new Discovery Day program and this meets the needs of um, homeschool co-ops in the area as well as small private schools. This has been a really great option for us to add in as well and this features um, special theme days that can fit really well into the curriculum of these sorts of schools. That's fascinating. I, I always think it's so important to get uh, young Americans out to these historic sites so they can fall in love with history the same way that we did. Are most of your reenactors simply uh, volunteers from the area that want to help? Yes, most of them are volunteers from the area. Many of them have been doing historical reenacting for many, many years, and we've really been able to increase the number of volunteers that we have this year, which has been excellent. We really rely on them, and it's another great way to get our local community involved in what we're doing. Your programming is much broader than just the battle itself. You talk about how they cooked back in the day and, and uh, how they lived back in the day. Would that be accurate? Yes, for sure. So. Our mission especially is to interpret the Battle of Brandywine and the effect on the local Quakers in the area. So when students come to our site, they learn about the Battle of Brandywine. They should know that it happened on September 11, 1777, as well as many of the details about the battle and the military logistics of the battle. They learn that from our museum and from some wonderful reenactors that we have, or if we take them on a tour of our historic houses. But we also talk about how did this affect the local Quaker population financially? How was it challenging for the Quakers since they were supposed to be pacifists during the revolution? We talk about these things. We also talk about ordinary life. We do um, historical colonial dancing with them, which the kids <laughs> always love. If I visit, can I participate in that dancing? Absolutely. You are more than welcome to visit anytime you are in the area and definitely welcome to participate in the dancing. Let's shift gears just a little bit. Uh, well, not shifting gears too much. The Living History Program that Americana Corner helped to fund. Talk to us about that project uh, specifically and, and the whole living history idea. Yes, the Living History Initiative absolutely has really benefited our park and especially our education programs. When it's so wonderful that we have many volunteers here and we're so grateful for their time. It has been really wonderful for us with this Living History Initiative funded by Americana Corner to be able to provide them with the materials that they need to volunteer as these historical reenactors. For instance, our wonderful blacksmith. We have quite a few blacksmiths here, including Lynn, who is our board president. We have now, through the Living History Initiative, have a proper, authentic blacksmith belt that has space for all the tools that is needed, which is really helpful for our blacksmithing initiative. We have also a wonderful paper making station where the kids can physically feel and touch what paper pulp is like, and they're able to see the whole process and make their own piece of paper this way. We are even now incorporating more living history stations into our education programs, that there's always a good reason for people to come back to the park. That is just fascinating, uh, Melody, and uh, those living history programs are really perfect for Americana Corner. Any last thoughts before we sign off? I just want to say thank you so much to Americana Corner. Your support is so, so helpful to our organization. And if you're ever in the Brandywine area, feel free to stop by. We'd love to have you. I'll take you up on that. I'm gonna do a little uh, colonial dancing. Yes. <laughs> and maybe have uh, Lynn teach me how to do some blacksmithing. I always wanted to do that. Yes, so, uh, for sure. Thank you so much for your time, Melody. It's been delightful. Uh, thank you for and, your time uh, as well, Tom. Yeah, and, uh, and thank you out there for listening. And until next time, may your love of country 
lead you. Mm-hmm.